Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Yet they follow us everywhere we go. Graveyards, not my favorite either. Why not? Remind me of work. Never been to a cemetery to visit someone's grave. Always hunting some ghoul or rot fiend. <sighs> Frankly, I'd rather have come here with a contract to do some witch's work. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Hmm. The thing about Skjall was that his village thought he was dishonorable by ditching everybody. So he doesn't get a proper burial. Should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Mm, I don't want to disrespect them anymore. Lower your voice before we need another grave. Whoops. How can you defend him? Craven's place is in the ditch. Ooh. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. I'm glad we got some closure. Um, maybe I'm gonna go to the other quest first. Go back alone. Need to tend to something. Very well. I'll see you. Skjall's grave. Let Avalok know that everything is ready. I think it's a good idea that we stop right here so that we can go to that island where we have the one quest. Which is... here. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit too far to sail away, so I think I'm just gonna fast travel there then. Back in Lofoten. Lofoten Cemetery. The inhabitants of Lofoten often visit this small cemetery to care for the graves of their loved ones and ask Freya for blessings in the afterlife. I always thought that Ciri didn't really like her heritage because it's something that's brought her a lot of trouble, right? 
If she wasn't the elder blood, then she wouldn't be bringing death and destruction to all her friends and family and everybody around her. But just now, there was a moment where that peasant was like, Oh, you're just some random girl. And then Siri's like, What? I'm not just some random lass. So it makes me wonder if she's... How do you say it? Maybe she's starting to take pride in that a little bit? Genetics, it's not something you can change no matter how hard you try, right? So it's just something that we have to come to terms with, somehow. Hmm. I don't think we've ever been here before, have we? But there's really not too much here. It's just, um, cemetery. Yeah, the people of Lofoten don't like us very much, do they? First with Yennefer, breaking their laws, and now Ciri, following her footsteps. I don't like us very much right now either. <laughs> okay. Uriala Harbor. Who's looking for me? One of you guys? Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. What? Trial of the Path. What is it? An age-old on Skellig tradition. Young men must complete the path. Only then do they turn true warriors. So what's this path like? Old Gunner can tell you all you want to know about the path of warriors. He's the one leads the ritual. Lives at the foot of Mount Articlove. One. Definitely found this Not out by you overhearing your conversation. <laughs> we did this already. Mm, remember how before I was like, oh yeah, now we can, like, you know, we'll do the thing now. And then later on, we'll actually do the quest. And then the people will be like so impressed that we did it already. This is our moment to shine. Is it over here or? No, it's a little bit further away. Are they going to recognize that I did it already though? Yes, right? Because... I took some item from the totem that was at the very top. So I'm hoping there's just gonna be an option that's like, Oh yeah, I did it already. Here you go. And they're gonna be like, Oh my god. And be really, really impressed. <laughs> a warrior with two blades. One's more than enough for any who knows how to fight. I don't know you. You don't know me. So what's your problem? These isles were ours alone once. No foreigner dared set foot here. And if they did, they'd not return home. The good days, those. Definitely not for those unlucky enough to land here. You gunner? Who's asking? And why? I want to travel the path of warriors. No outlanders ever dared. But if you've had your fill of life, go on, try. What do I do? Paths got two offshoots. One leads into mountain peaks, the other into the bowels of the earth. Traverse both, and you'll have proved your valor. Uh, Last time we did the mountain path, right? Not the underground one? Can you tell me more about the underground path? Is a cave of some sort? Hey, but the corridors leading to it are flooded. No continentals ever manage to swim them. Takes training since youth, a lot of diving after pearls. We'll see about that. What else? At the cavern's end, a surprise awaits. Take what you find there, bring it to me. A surprise? What kind? You'll see. So long as you get to the end. So long as the harpies don't get you. Mm, we'll see. Tell me about the mountain path. It leads along the crest of Mount Ardic Clove. You'll find a crimson shawl at the peak. Bring that back as proof you've reached the pod's end. Doesn't sound like much of a challenge. Clear you've not spent much time in our mountains. Well, I'm not scared to try. Not just foreign, but dumb too. Well, no cure in that. Well, run to the top of Mount Articlove. Grab the crimson shawl, then reach the cave. At its end, you'll find something I'm not about to describe. On you go then, show the world what you're worth. Okay. Grind those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. The crimson shawl. Was that what we got from the top of the mountain? 
No, we got Trial of Dexterity Completion Token, and it's not Crimson. Oh. Maybe last time what we did wasn't really related? Okay. Hey, why do I still have this? <laughs> huh. What do I do to complete the path of- Eager to walk the path. Climb to the top <laughs> of that article. Bring me the- I thought he was gonna accept my scarf, but Brand no. Swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Well, it's only telling me to descend to the cave entrance, which means it accepted that I did the other one already. Yeah? We have to dive, did you say? Uh, so I just go down? Well, not like that. Was I even going the right way when I tried going down? Oh, we've been there before, haven't we? This is the place where we slide down from the mountain, and then in that cave there were like... Two gargoyles or something? That place? Oh, well, then actually, we've done this one as well. But maybe last time we did the cave one, we didn't see whatever they wanted us to see. It's okay. We've already done the sirens before too, so I'm not gonna... Oh... Geralt wouldn't jump, because he's in combat mode now. Okay, everybody. Damn it. Either come down, or get away. Don't hit the thing! That's probably disrespectful. Come down here. The annoying thing is though, I can't... I can't jump across there unless they all die. Because I can't get out of combat mode. <laughs> Will that one come up? Nope. Oh god! How you like that silver? Get away from me, please. More? Give me a break! So, we don't really have to pay attention to anything along the way, do we? I don't think so, because all we gotta do is get to the cave portion, actually. The last time we were here, how did we get past this? I think we just sort of slid down here? Well, it's a nice change of pace, because the last time we came here, I think it was during the afternoon or morning. And now this time, it's at night time. Ah, oh, yeah, this is where we got the... Yeah, we learned about some king and some witcher here. There was a scavenger thing here previously. This way? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that kind of worked. Oh! The white-haired one goes to his death. Nay, no foreigner can traverse the path of warriors. No foreigners ever completed the path of warriors. First time for everything. Some only learn from their mistakes. Thing is, in Skellige, mistakes usually cost you your life. Yeah, but you guys see that as being honorable, right? Because you guys think that cowardice is... something that's punishable by death. <laughs> Put a skeleton right here, just in case, if you forgot, it's dangerous. Ugly bastard. Oh, just one more step. Please. No, I can't really get you. <laughs> you gotta come down, buddy, or else I can't really do anything. Nah, it doesn't work on the harpies. Oh, God! Lost so much health from that. 
Oh god. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh. No, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Things are really not going well for me today. Another one. Just based on how many hits they take to kill, it seems like harpies are stronger than sirens. Or at least they have more health. Finally. Place of power. Should draw from it. Yeah, we've already done that. And there's nothing here. No. Nothing to loot here. And all we gotta do is slide down here. Okay. Really scary to do at night because we can't see anything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we've been here. It's the gargoyle cave. Which means it's time to take the cat potion. Looks like I missed some treasures last time. Maybe? There it is. Travel through the tunnel and collect proof you made it to the end. That this is one of their warrior trials. If you can't complete this and become a full-fledged warrior, you might as well be dead. I do remember dying to those gargoyles though, so this is pretty tough. Uh, last time... Yeah, we saw some guys there. They don't seem to be here this time, but there's a... What was that? Oh, we've probably seen that already before, but I forgot. What is it? Shit. Old man warned me not to surface before the end. No wonder. Oh. Surfaced for air, and they nabbed him. No gargoyles, though. Witcher signs. Weird book. Something else in the water? I'm expecting to find a monster. And they're gonna make me bring back a trophy as proof that I killed it. I got that already. I can't loot it. Oh, it's just a chest? Huh. Then maybe even a really good diver would be able to get this. Path of Warriors completion token. We're not at the end just yet, so let's not let our guard down. Yeah, you see circles here, but they're not that close. Rats. Real pleasant place. Leave the caverns and talk to the man. Wait, that's it? Oh. Thought it would be something a little bit more dangerous. Huh. Okay. And now we gotta wrap back all the way around. Oh! Hello? Your mom shot you out! Now the grill will take your back! Devil's blood, he's fast! Did we not come out of this entrance before? You guys randomly here to ambush me? And that's that. Nope. Here. These forests are pretty dangerous. Look at that. But there's not really a need for us to um, engage in that, so we'll just move forward. 
I don't think there was a fast travel to get back to the old man, so we're just gonna have to... Um... Oh! Maybe there is. But it's such a short distance, I don't think we have to. All we gotta do is walk back over, pretty much. What did I do that triggered this? Because I feel like this quest should have come up earlier, but it just randomly came up while we were doing the last quest, pretty much. Adventure seeker. I know you're kind. And I never got to overhear that conversation that supposedly started the quest. That was kind of sad. Even while we were here last time for the tower, they didn't bring this up to me. Weird. Old man. I'm back. The favor Lady Bran did for our son sure did bear a high price. You bring news? Path of yours wasn't easy, but I managed to get to the end. Here's proof. First outlander to complete the trial. A feat worthy of respect. I'll make sure news of your deeds spreads across the five isles. Well, thank you. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Thank you for your praise. And that's all we get, though. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. If I look in here, we really only have one quest left. Battle preparations. All we gotta do is go back to Avlok and tell him that we trashed his lab. <laughs> and hopefully he won't be mad about it. Mm. Before we do that, we're level 33 right now. If I look in my crafting... Level 33. When we're level 34, we get Master Crafted Armor. Which we can only do with... Journeyman? What, not even a Master level? Um... We're really close though. I think with the next quest, we're probably gonna hit level 34. So probably I shouldn't be looking at any other armor, huh? I feel like I'm okay with just going to Wolven Armor just because we're from the Wolf School. I mean, the combat's not really the hardest thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one we use. Oh, but the Master Crafted Wolven one does require Master. Oh, they're doing that thing again where pieces, certain pieces require Master, but then certain other pieces don't. The boots don't. But this chest armor does. Can I make it? Can I make this at all? Cured Draconid Leather, Dimeridium Plate. Yeah, I feel like we can get those. For the boots... Meteorite Silver Ingot. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Why don't we try... Before finishing up our battle preparations. Oh, we have enough for the gauntlets already. Mm hmm. Okay then. What I'm gonna do is I will fast travel back to Velen. I'm gonna visit Ioana and Hatori. And we're gonna get all prepared. Even though we're not the right level right now, I'll keep the set on me and then we'll just switch into it whenever we get the chance to. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? <laughs> that guy. Listen, would you craft something for me? Stop being so nosy, gosh. I can make the swords here, right? Silver sword. Yeah, feline. Griffin. Ursine. Wolven. Oh, I got all parts present already. <gasps> but I can't make it right now, can I? Because if I do that, then I wouldn't be able to use my current sword. Oh. Shoot! Then I can't make the armor either, because I'm wearing the same set right now. Um. Hmm. So it's either I go back to a different set, like Ursine or Feline, or I wait. I have to wait until I get to level 34 first. Hmm, let's wait. Let's wait. Dang. Oh! So long. But at the very minimum, I can sell you my stuff, Greetings, right? Greetings, Ibeer. Greet Listen. Oh, what a shame. I can't do it in advance. Oh, I should probably put that in my stash. 
And the rest of this can just get out of here. Dang, you got a lot of stuff here too. Exploding bolt. That sounds really cool. Can I try it? Yeah. Plus 15 silver damage, 20 piercing damage. Really expensive though, look at that. 8,000 crowns? Uh, never mind. That's too rich for my blood. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I guess we're going back to Skellige then. So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? I got one more thing I want to do before we talk to Avalok. We gotta get our revenge. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. This might be our last round before facing off with a wild hunt. Let's go over the Nilf Guardian deck. Feel like I haven't used it in a while. Uh, oh, yes, yes! Shillard, we got him! A spy, finally! One Nilf Guardian spy! For some reason, this deck is supposed to be full of spies, right? But I only have a grand total of one. It's really weird. Aside from that... Do I want to make any adjustments? Uh, what's this guy again? This guy's a medic. Hmm, I guess we're okay. Yeah, what about leader cards? Oh, <gasps> I only have one? What? That's actually really crazy, isn't it? Really? Oh, there we go. Huh. I don't know why I couldn't see it earlier. Restores unit to the battlefield. A randomly chosen unit. Affects both players. Draw a card from your opponent's discard pile. Cancel your opponent's leader ability. Look at three random cards. Torrential Rain. Let's try going for draw a card from your opponent's discard pile. Okay. Perfect. Northern Realms versus the Nilf Guardian deck today. Decoy, decoy, clear weather, commander's horn, commander's horn. One medic. Improv Brigade, Improv Brigade, dragon. <laughs> Archer. Whoa, this draw is kind of crappy. <laughs> Let's take away. <sighs> I don't even know. Clear weather, maybe? Or. Mm, one decoy. Young emissary. Okay, not too bad. I can pair it with. Nobody. <laughs> oh man, this is, um. I don't know what to do. This hand's not so good. The one medic? Is that even gonna be useful? I guess I'll take away... One commander's horn. Kind of a shame, because I like it. What did I get? I got one more Impera Brigade guard? Oh. Well, 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 well. How do I even start? This hand's really bad. Guess we'll try this. Ballista? And I feel like this deck is so foreign to me too, because we haven't played Gwent in a while. Plus, I just don't know this deck very well to begin with. <sighs> do we want to win or do we not? Let's try winning. Yeah, Sheldon Skaggs. 10 versus 8. Emperor Brigade. Do we have to worry about Scorch? Taller. I'll have that. Thank you. Catapult. Please give me more spies, please. Gondro Dim. Not bad. And a hero. A 10 hero. Um... 23 to 17. I mean, I guess I'll put down this one as well. Still don't have to worry about Scorch just yet, because of the catapult on the other side. Vernon Roach. 33 to 32. Now, I have a leader ability, but they haven't done anything yet, so I can't really use it. Mm, and I also have a medic. Um... I feel like I don't want to put down so many cards for the first round, though. <laughs> uh... mm? All in. All in. 
This is as good as my commander's horn's gonna get in terms of effectiveness. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, at least we got the first round. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I can steal taller from him with my leader card. Can't I? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Can Wenny siege expert? You can boost Taller's morale. <laughs> Decoy and a random Nilf Guardian guy. Siege Engineer. We don't have any more Commander's Horns, so I can't really stack any effects anymore. I think keeping clear weather was a bad idea, but hey. We're trying our best here. Gondro Dim. That's good, that's good. Impenetrable fog. Okay, maybe now my clear weather can come in handy. We'll have to see. Um, If I use my medic, who should I bring back? These are all close combat cards. I'll save it for now. Black Inventory Archer. At the very end. I can clear weather, so I'm not too worried. Siegfried! Oh my god, it's been so long since I've seen you. 9 to 4. 9 to 4. I don't really want to put down the medic, because there's nothing good in here. Um, But he has two more cards left. You know what? We can do this. We won. Right? He's only got two cards. Oh, this guy's a medic too! Oh! Okay. I can bring back multiple Impera Brigades then. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh no. No, we're okay. We're okay for now. Impera Brigade again. How's that? And that's with the weather effects too. 32, 27. Uh, siege. He's passed. Clear weather. Yeah, 51, 36. We got it. Woo! I think last time we lost to this guy with a Scoia'tael deck or something though, but hey, I'll take any win I can get. Necker! <laughs> you and Hjalmar. I feel like I have 20,000 Neckers already. Swords, and they're like all the backs. same backgrounds with different poses and stuff. It's a low production value card. You hurt. Me dad grew pale like you just for a date. I don't feel like I look that pale though. Do I? I don't really think so. Hmm. Well, now that we have the Sunstone, Come closer, and we have Fringilla Vigo, are we prepared? I never doubted you. Why did you? You might have just asked. We were unsure, to hear you trouble. reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed? Well, you're obsessed with Lara Doran, right? So I wouldn't put it past you. In the game so far, he's just been kind of suspicious, but he hasn't done anything concretely bad. But if we think about the books, then that's an entirely different issue, isn't it? I feel like in general, we should probably be pretty reserved around NL elves. Siri, are you okay? Got a minute? Of course. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. She was putting her head down and everything, so I thought she wasn't feeling too well. 
Yan? Geralt? Did you talk to Frangilla? Thanks, Yan. See you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing like that. Oh, look at them. They're making little cliques here. Tris, Yennefer, Siri, Philippa. <laughs> Is Philippa dancing? Philippa, Rita, Frangilla. Yes, Geralt. I guess that's it. So long. Hmm. All right then. Of a lock. Yes, Geralt. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Even if it's a human's veins? Huh. I don't care about that woman. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. Fine. We have a very pragmatic relationship here. No feelings. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. <laughs> the sorceresses don't like Avalog very much, do they? He's right, though. We should clarify everything. Avoid misunderstandings. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. <laughs> you are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's infantry regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Wait, did we talk to Nilfgaard about this already? Huh. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers. Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and uh. gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. You kidnapped my daughter and try to make her have sex with your king. You think I forgot about that? Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Mmm. 
Even back at the lab, I feel like Siri right now still doesn't really have a good grasp on her emotions. That lady was just shit-talking and she got so offended by it. So, I do agree that Siri should probably stay away, although I don't think she will. Well, can't say you're wrong there. Huh. I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way, you know that. You can't defeat Eridan. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him, far away. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? The big picture! Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. <laughs> Didn't sound convinced. No. But I can't very well tie her up and teleport her away, can I? Hmm. Definitely advise against trying that. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Oh, we're in the Nilfgaardian camp right now. Hmm. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Well, we are here to battle Eridan and the Wild Hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. It's like Philippa read her mind. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw, having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please, do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? Is she a little embarrassed right now? She's like all turned away from me and stuff. I guess that is kind of straightforward to be asking somebody this or maybe she's scared of rejection i'd go anywhere with you the answer i was hoping for go Geralt. avalaka waits and don't get killed witcher I'm a little bit worried about Siri. Because she obviously wasn't too happy, and... Her not being happy means that she's full of emotion right now, which means she's gonna make even more risky decisions. Oh my. The Wild Hunt. Why not? The Wild Hunt. Oh, we forgot about this book. Hmm. Blizzards. Death and war gallop in its wake, or so the superstition goes, yet evil enough is the wild hunt itself. Heroes of Skellige, Modolf. Modolf, progenitor of Clan Drummond, who was granted mastery over the Isle of Unvik, unlike his brothers, displayed no extraordinary abilities. He was neither wise nor especially brave, nor did he possess any particular gift which would make him a great individual. 
He resented Hemdal for not bestowing greater talent upon him. Hemdal, however, insisted he had blessed each of his sons with equal gifts, but not all revealed themselves at once. Modolf would have to wait for the right moment for his gifts to step forward. Yet the hero was impatient and could not wait for this moment. Instead, again and again, he sought out trouble of the worst sort, hoping each time his hidden talent would shine. Hemdal grew angry with his son and decided to bury his gift even deeper. Modolf died after a long and unruly life filled with incredible adventures, but a life during which he never discovered his talent. His descendants decided to continue his search elsewhere. They abandoned Unvik and invaded Art Skellig, eventually taking half of that isle for themselves. They now seek to take the other half, but whether doing so would finally reveal their line's unique gift, no one knows. Yeah, see, Lugos could have gone back to Unvik after we killed the Ice Giant. But I guess that's... there's no use thinking about that now. You know, back at the Battle of Kaer Morin, the only reason we made it out of that one alive was because of Ciri. But it wasn't something that she consciously decided to do. I hope something like that doesn't happen again. Because right now, it's been such a short time. I don't think she's made too much progress in learning how to tap into her latent abilities. Oh, shoot! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no. No. <laughs> How far does this Nilfgaardian camp go? Oh, no. We gotta go. There must have been a prompt that said, don't steal stuff. But I was so used to just taking everything, I wasn't paying attention to it at all. Geralt, run, please. I'm serious, Geralt, run! <laughs> oh, they're level 46. Are we all good? Oh. <laughs> it's been a while since something like that happened, huh? It's like a last little revisit before we get to the end here. <laughs> Orans. There's so many goodies here. We're on Unvik now, right? Mm hmm. And then those guardians have landed here. Oh gee, what does Ceres and Croc think about me? I saw you in Vizima. <laughs> hey guys, don't be mad, please. You shouldn't have left stuff here for me to take if you didn't want me to take it. And I thought we were allies anyway. Why can't I take your stuff? Let me just try again. Look, there was no prompt. But that guy is staring at me, right? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to save you. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> that actually wasn't my fault then, because it never came up with a prompt. Don't yes, be unreasonable. So this time it came up, but last time it didn't. Okay, Avalok said to brew all my potions and stuff before I go there, so I will. I'm gonna meditate until... Not morning. I kind of like the idea of facing off against the wild hunt at night, so I'm not gonna go to morning. But, I will check my alchemy tab and see if there's anything we can make. And make a bunch of white gull just because we can. Bombs. Superior Northern Wind. Cubrith. We do use it sometimes. Superior Cursed Oil. Okay. I don't think we'll be fighting against anything cursed, though. If anything, we really should be making Spectre Oil, right? For Wild Hunt? Actually, I don't even know if the Wild Hunt are considered Spectres. 
Yeah, I think we're fine. We are fine. Okay. And all we gotta do is go talk to Avalok then. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? They're preparing Dimeridium bombs? We're on the same side right now, you know? At least pretend to be on the same side. It's Rosa Var Atra's dad, was it? We're on Marlin Coast right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're actually kind of close to this tower here. I wonder if that's going to come into play. Anybody want to talk to me before we move out? Oh, there's a blacksmith, quartermaster. Are you here to spy or haggle? Show me what you're battling. Sell you some stuff that I just stole. Thank you very much, and can you repair my stuff for me one last time? Alright. So long. Unfortunately, right now, we're still level 33, aren't we? Yeah, we didn't get any experience for that long thing. That's okay. <laughs> 